You almost got squashed that first time. Right. One of the things that surprises most of our guests is that we live up here. We actually build a little tent city, little tent village, and we spend the summer up here with our animals on the glacier. Oh no, Edie, huh? <laughs> hey, Paul. Was your mouth shut? We start building the camp in April. Everything is flown up here, uh, from dog houses to tents to propane to snow machines. Even the dogs fly up, all 150 of them. So right here is my station, my harness rack for my uh, chute right here, my dogs. And as you can see down the line, every chute has their own harness rack, so everything's organized per musher. Yeah, these dogs eat 30,000 pounds of dog food this summer, and you can imagine the exhaust they produce. Um, what we do, however, to keep this glacier pristine uh, is actually pick it all up and uh, put it in these barrels and it's actually flown off the glacier. So uh, our motto is if it's brown, it's flown down. Um, the group of people have been with me, most of them for multiple years, some as many as nine and ten. Um, these are the highest caliber people I've been able to find. They are impassioned about sled dogs and also their lifestyle that they've chosen. Pretty neat, they're all about the same age. Um, Asher's nine and Kylie's four. Oh, that'll be, this is going to be perfect. Okay, great. Thanks for putting it together. We'll be expecting them. We're on a real fragile ecosystem up here on the glacier and it's important to us that when we leave, we only leave footprints in the snow behind. <laughs> Thanks for letting me share my office with you, and I hope the next time we see each other, you and I are on a dog team. <laughs>